Hello everybody, welcome to Anasart again. Uh, today we have a, a very special guest. Uh, his name is Daniel Santos Puibois. And he's, um, he's a musician, but also he's a healer. We, we can call a healer. And he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience with this healing process that he do. So, um, Daniel, tell us how, what is this of uh, quantum healing? Uh, how do you heal with this? Well, let's just say that um, all, all of these healing methods and, and uh, movement that is rising today, uh, there's so many methodologies and so many systems and so many um, ways of, of, of working. But at the end, uh, what healing really means is returning back to your order, to your, let's just say to your original monadic, your, your original order of yourself. And uh, in this sense, it doesn't really matter um, what path you take as long as you arrive in that to that order which starts with the heart obviously so all that we do is we don't actually heal somebody the, the, the person heals it his or herself through um realizing that which does not which is not coherent with the signal of the heart and i think that's that's the synthesis of everything yeah, what, well, from this that you just say the synthesis uh, i have a lot of questions you know like for example tell us what is this coherence that you say like from the heart or what is that you have to hear your heart i mean well, you see, we, we come from uh, a system. We come from a system that taught us so many things about life and reality and taught us, like, for example, how uh, relationships should work and how uh, health should work and what you have to do to fix yourself and to be a normal person. And, you know, we come from a system, okay? We come from a system. And this system is not designed to sustain um, life and to sustain nature. And what I mean by nature is not just biological nature. It's, the, you know, the whole of, of nature, which, which implies all of your different levels of your, of your being. So um, your spiritual uh, level is also part of nature. And your mental level and your, your emotional body is also part of life and to sustain uh, nature. So we've we've uh, created this system in this planet which is not designed for that. So um, when we, we talk about the heart, which we, we are only making reference to this nucleus, to this original um, signal of yourself and to this original information of what is really you and sustains your nature. That's it. And it's different for every, every, every single being. So, so um, when I say the heart, I'm not talking about um, this place of romantic, you know, uh, of a romantic place where you are going to feel all of the, you know, these uh, sweet emotions. You know, it's the, it's the center of yourself. It's the center of your wisdom. It's the center of your true balance with the place where you are, the place that where you know that you recognize that you are what you are. And that's it. It's like, you, if you want to understand it, like in musical terms, I love, I love this metaphor. Because it's like a um, musical note. So you can have like, for example, uh, a C major chord, and then there's uh, and there's other notes that 
that are not harmonic and all of your your psyche and all of your system uh, plays, let's just say, a C, a, C, a C major scale, it's going to be harmonic with that. But if it plays something else that is not you, you're going to have incoherence. So, if, for example, if you're thinking something that this is not in accordance to your true nature, you're going to have interference pattern. You're going to feel discomfort. There's something that is going to be out of place, and it's going to have a symptom always. So what healing really is is just aligning all that you are to this radio frequency of, let's, let's say, uh, Radio Claudia, okay? <laughs> Yeah, but I, uh, let's say I am Mexican. Yeah. I mean, I don't understand. I mean, my name Claudia, like you say, it's not even from here. It's, I mean, it's more from Germany and from Spain. I mean, from Italy, excuse me. Latin, it's coming from Latin. So I'm like, yeah, I am looking from my coherence. What is my coherence? Like, what my heart say, you know, about it. So I'm just I always like, yes, questioning that. Like, your name is Daniel Ibrahim, you know, looks like yeah. something Jewish there. I don't sure, you know. So then it's yeah. like, so you are like in coherence with your name. You have to change yeah. your name, things like that. Yeah. You can change your name. I mean, you can do whatever you feel like. <laughs> but, you know, we're, we're, we are all, right now, we're on a, on a big process, a planetary scale too. This awakening process is really just about um, realizing our true nature. That's it. So uh, nobody has all the answers. I don't have all the answers, but, but we are working to realize what this signal really is. Because if you are not aligned with your true signal, you will always suffer. That's that's the bottom line. Okay, so you just help people to align with the true signal. And because we ourselves know what is yeah. our true signal. So <laughs> that sounds like very simple and very easy, you know? I mean yeah, exactly. Because well, the, the system that I work with, which is uh, quantum bioengineering, is all based on just listening to the signal of the heart. We don't interpret anything. We don't uh, analyze uh, nothing. We don't use the intellect. We just listen to the heart and, okay, if the heart is telling me this is out of alignment and this is the cause, then I will regenerate or detoxify or reprogram the cause of this unalignment. And then you will feel like uh, something has gone back to place. You know? And I will do this and I will show also, I will, I will teach the uh, patients how to do it themselves because we don't want, uh, you know, we need people, we need, we need everyone to, to align themselves uh, we don't need people to be dependent on therapists or gurus or anything anymore. Okay. So dependent doesn't mean that you don't seek them, but not dependent. Yeah, to have like relationship between human beings, but not like uh, yeah. from less or more more morality. Or... Exactly. Exactly. Nothing like that. That is beautiful. Yes, I hope one day we arrive to that place. Imagine a good society. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have to. Yeah, we have to. Yes. Um, so what does healing have to be with the aquarium new era age? Uh, do you have, have something to be with this new era, new age? Yeah, well, I think so. I, I you know... Definitely something is happening because the age of Aquarius is supposed to be the age of, uh, of knowledge, understanding, and information and all of that. And um, so obviously the, there's a big paradigm shift 
and we're going to towards a, a, an integration of a global view and what I and what I uh, what I'm speaking of with that is if, is the understanding that we do not need um, let's just say the the disconnected worldview anymore and um, we can access information at levels that we'd never dreamed of before so for example you have you to to access information before you needed to read books um take lessons you know maybe a few hundred years ago you had to be inside the church and you would receive certain knowledge or whatever okay maybe some monks and saints could access information on a different level mm -hmm. but that was like reserved everyone can access this information now we can read entire books without opening one single page and this is incredible and anybody can do it so this, this is the kind of things that are starting to that we're starting to realize in the area in the era of aquarius that we are actually connected to every single information there is in the universe and we can read it and we can understand it. And this is incredible. And it's just starting. So we don't know who we are. We don't know what we're capable of. We have this inner technology that we're just understanding. And all of this technology, uh, let's just say artificial technology that is out there, like artificial intelligence, like virtual reality, like, you know, um, this tendency to create uh, uh, um, cyborgs and chips and everything. I mean, all of that is just a projection of the technology that we already have inside, but we don't remember. So we have to create it outside. And I'm not saying it's always wrong or anything like that. It's just, it's just that, uh, for example, you have um, virtual reality. Okay, so virtual reality. Uh, is is just just a projection of the the um, the soul that we we but we because we have forgotten how to astral travel, so we have to create virtual reality to be to be inside a different world. But it's not true. Like this, you can access many dimensions and worlds, and you can live them, see them, feel them, use them, and change this reality from them. And it's it happens all the time. And we have this technology. We don't need the virtual reality to do that. I'm not saying it doesn't have benefits, but it's a projection. Okay. This kind of thing is what ha is happening in the in the start of the era of, uh, of Aquarius. We need the material things, like you say. We are in the body. We are in the material place. It's not yes, that of course, but. But, but you know the thing that is that is really beautiful that is changing now is that we're understanding that the system for interchanging uh, material goods and services and you know the whole economy is is has a has a, a, a date a limit it will not go forever I mean this is this is a mathematical certainty it's going to collapse and we have we are starting to find different ways which is not this rat race of production, consumption, production, consumption. Okay, so this is what maintains our root chakra completely out of, out of, uh, you know, uh, not after Locked and in fear and completely like in yeah. buying things and all this. <laughs> yeah, like you, you can see that most of, most people on this earth live completely out of their, their first and second chakra. Chakra is like, uh, um, like, uh, it's 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 all about like just um, hoarding hoarding money or just saving money, and it's like saving money and having sex, you know, <laughs> and then that's it. And if you're a little bit more advanced, maybe you uh, find a project and you do something, and then you use your third chakra, which is the willpower, and maybe you're an entrepreneur. I don't know something. Okay, that's on the third level. But we have to go to the fourth level, which is at least the fourth chakra in the heart, because that's where 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 the spirit and the and the material world are married. So we are in this process to go up to this fourth level. Okay, so it's in that fourth level where the healing process 
we reach a threshold where well, well, things that, start that, changing. Yeah. But mostly you work with the with the heart. Yes, mostly you work with the uh, anahata with the chakra. Yes, yeah, the exactly. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, so, but I, so, I mean, aside, not really. If we are speaking about the subtle body and all the chakras and then and the material body and the organs and the glandules, so the quantum energy is in the subtle body or is outside that is in another dimension i mean it's something that connects all the dimensions yeah, well, you know the thing is that we are used to seeing ourselves as um a physical body and that's it you know so so there is a, a belief that that that's you are a material thing. thing. It's an object. It moves in space, and one day it will die, and that's it. You know, that's we are pathogens uh, and viruses and bacteria, and basically our biology is weak, and um, we need to, you know, the, the survival of the fittest or the strongest, and all, you know, all of these stories mm -hmm. that come from from our past. But we are really integral beings that have a physical body, a subtle body, a quantum body. Uh, we have energetic bodies. We have bio photons. I mean, you, you don't really exist anyway because it's like <laughs> you're 0 0.0000001% electromagnetism magnetism, and the rest of, 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 uh, of the space is just quantum vacuum. Okay, And in this quantum vacuum, it's pure possibility. So what you are is really just a possibility. That's incredible. So we, we're starting to realize that we are much, much, much more. So um, all of the all of this is is um, is a big discovery, and maybe it's, it's still a big mystery. So we can talk about chakras and bodies and and, and all that, but at the end, at the end, it's it's really about being able to align your true self to every other dimension of yourself. So, for example, um, let's just say that one day you wake up and you're in a really, really bad mood, okay? And um, if if you could connect to your heart in that moment and be able to activate the vision, you would be able to see that maybe your, your bioelectrical system is out of order, okay? So you did that. And maybe you, maybe your partner, uh, and maybe all of that happened because you were having a bad dream, and you had an interference in this bad dream, and you know how all of these, um, uh, all of these steps align to create a disorder in your material life, and the heart will tell you exactly all of these steps, and will tell you do this in a minute, in two minutes, and then. Maybe you wouldn't have this result in your material, practical life. So, so uh, instead of like um, trying to understand with with your mind, okay, so this chakra is this, and this body is this, and the quantum level is this, and we we're it's just, it's more about being in order with mystery, <laughs> and 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 aligning yourself with the fact that you don't know everything, but just just being able to feel what is out of order and have the the, the skill sets to order to order what is out of order and this is in a, a re-education process that we're trying to create in a massive level it's not just about seeing patients it's also about creating this um, new uh, education where we have practical down-to-earth um, tools that anyone can use to be able to align themselves 